did tonight's performance say about the defense as a whole? Uh, I mean, we knew we could play like this. I mean, the country doubted us after last week. But, you know, we knew, you know, I think we, we set a statement tonight, the defense. I mean, I think our team as a whole set a statement tonight. You know, everybody doubted us. We watch college game day just like everybody else. We watch every single show just like everybody else on Fox. I think we had like one out of eight picks. Yeah. How much yeah. added motivation does that provide? Uh, I mean, when they doubt you, I mean, it's, a, it's automatic motivation. I mean, if, and when you're when you're doubted, when you, if you're a person with a heart and you get doubted and you don't have, and it doesn't motivate you to do better or be the best you can be, then I don't know what kind of person you are. I mean, I wasn't raised like that, and I don't think nobody on our team was raised like that. I'm sure you weren't thinking about all those guys picking against you guys during the game, but was, no. there, a, was there a point towards the end of the game where you're like, oh, oh yeah, this is we're gonna enjoy this? Yeah, at the end. I mean, once the clock hit three zeros, we were like, yeah, you know, we proved it. we proved everybody wrong. I mean, they had a hundred, a hundred and like twenty something rush yards in the first quarter, and then they end the game with one sixty. Yeah, I mean, we got, yeah, we got run defense too. What, when, when what the was that? The lead, how much did it help you guys? Uh, it helps us a lot because it kind of gets Stanford out there, out there mode. You know, all they want to do is pound, pound, pound. And when you, I mean, when you make them throw against, I mean, one of the best secondaries in the country. I mean, you see what happens. What? adjustments were made during halftime that enabled you to be so much more effective in the second half? There wasn't really too, too many adjustments. I mean, they had one 70-yard run where they reached one of our players. I mean, that never happened again in the game, but I mean, it wasn't too many adjustments. We knew coming into the game we had to, you know, you know, put our hard hats on. If you, if you look at it, we were, I mean, the corners on the island, we were in the box, all nine of us, me, Bell included, plus the linebackers and D-line, we were in the box, we were ready to go. So, you know, it's one of the most physical games I've been in. Last week, you guys were kind of sloppy. You had some penalties. Yeah. Um, as leaders on the team, what, what did you guys have to say, to, you know, about those penalties after the game last week? Uh, I mean, penalties are going to happen first game. I mean, you get sloppy with your hands and feet and everything. But, you know, we came back. We worked on it during practice. I mean, they caused some penalties today. I mean, uh, yeah, they caused some, some, some penalties today. So, but we got to keep working on that, you know, every week. And hopefully... You know, when it gets down to the get down, that we're not we're penalty free. Not a lot of teams do get to physically dominate the yeah. Stanford team like you do. What uh -huh. does it feel like when, when you are doing that to the Stanford? I mean, it feels good. I mean, we took them out the game. We beat them at their own game. They want to run the ball downhill. They did it for 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 a few, you know, a quarter, and then after that, it was I mean, smooth sailing. What effect did you know, Cam and, and John Houston were right there over the center mm -hmm. most of the game? Sometimes yeah. they would back off. Sometimes they would stay. Yeah. How much confusion do you think that? That gave, and also as the game went on, you got to the quarterback a lot better. Yeah. Where did that come? Uh, I mean, we have a, a D coordinator that's probably the best coach I've ever played for. You want to be honest? I mean, he draws it up, he dials it up. He gave them looks they weren't, they've never seen before. The quarterback was up there checking runs to our pressures and everything like that. If you look, if you look, me and me and Marvell were up, down, up, down. You didn't know who was going to stay in, who was going to be be gone. So, I mean, when you got veterans like we got, you're able to do that. And we did that, and I mean, our guy Chenna and our porter and all of our D linemen got to the, the QB at the end, put pressure on him when it was past the situations. Chenna really very good. Yeah, I, yeah, he's one of our leaders. He's one of our guys. One of our best players. So I mean, I expected him to do that. He made a concerted effort to get the crowd involved. Yeah, they responded. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I like playing when it's you know when it's a loud crowd. You know, I'm, I'm I'm happy with the with the output. How many people showed up tonight? A lot of times it's not like that in the college team. It's so big, but tonight it was it was, it was rocking tonight. And I, you know, I appreciate the fans for coming out. Hopefully next week against Texas. I mean, we know we all know what that game is about. You know, hopefully there's even more people here, and I'll be doing the same thing every down. 0 and three against Stanford heading into tonight. How did yeah. it feel to walk away with the W finally? Yeah, that's something we talked about as a defense. You know, not the coaches didn't bring it up, but we did. You know, the leaders, I brought it up. I mean, it's my last year. I want to go out on the bank. So I couldn't lose to this team again. You know, last time I beat them, I was a redshirt freshman. So, you know, it, it feels good to really, you know, finally get over that hump. And now, you know, we're on to the next. So. What would you say was the biggest difference this year? Uh, when you got veteran guys. I mean, we had a lot of veterans out there, you know, up front, you know, in the secondary, in the at the linebacker position. I mean... When you got when you get guys like Michael Hutchins out out the game, last year he was messing up during the Stanford game, and I'm, I'm just playing. But when you got when you get guys like 
you know, Cam, Cam playing lights out. You got secondary playing lights out. We're, we got supreme confidence right now. And I think when you when you add all those factors.